Hey, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors. On this week's episode, we pack up the ice castle, we head up to the North Woods, and we find ourselves going out at Tamarack Lodge on Lake Winnebagoshish. We're after some walleyes, so let's see what happens. Well guys, we're just getting set up out here on Winnie, and we already have a rattle reel going. Well, we'll get it right back down there, get enough fresh minnow on there, and you get back at it. Well, guys, we got another rattle reel going here. We'll uh, give her a shot and see what we got. Feels decent. Nice walleye. Oh, look at that. Perfect eater fish there. I would guess that one's probably going to go about 15, 15 and a half. Well guys, we just got our first walleye here. Uh, this rattle reel over here, it's gone down twice already. So we're going to start patterning what lures are working, what minnows are working. We got fat heads, rainbows, sucker minnows, uh, but we have a white Lindy Frosty on that one. And uh, we just got this beautiful 16 inch walleye and uh, we're going to get this one in the bucket and get that line back down. So stay tuned. <sighs> Guy's got another perfect eater walleye there. Probably, I'd guess, 14, 15 inches. Uh, this one came on a plain red hook. I'll show it to you right here. Uh, just came on a plain red hook there. Put it against my plain red hook and a small sucker minnow but another perfect eater walleye there uh, we've only been fishing for probably I don't know half hour 45 minutes just getting set up out here on Winnebagoshish we're out at Tamarack Lodge and uh, you couldn't ask for much better than that so stay tuned for more Good job. You want to do it? Okay. Hey, pull. Pull on the line. Pull on this line. Pull. You're going to miss it. Here it comes, Shiver. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, that was our first attempt at a rattle reel. A little practice is in, is in uh, need there. But uh, we just got our third walleye of the trip here. This one probably will go back. We'll measure them. But, uh, yeah, that one looks a little small. This one's a little smaller. We're gonna keep them, we're gonna try and keep them 14 to 18, but uh, we'll see what this one measures. 13, a little over 13, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Good job. Good job. <laughs> High five. Woo that's the first time I ever um, uh, created a fish back in the water. That was so good. I'm but so was, proud of you. I Did you get pulled? Yeah. Yeah. They do that sometimes. Nice one. Nice job. Well, guys, we got our uh, third keeper walleye here. Uh, just came on. The rattle reel we actually had just gotten into bed it's about 11 o'clock at night here and i know you guys were excited for ice fishing season because you knew i was going to catch fish in my underwear well here i am in my underwear but uh, that one came on a fat head on a little northland uh, forage jig and uh yeah we're slowly but surely picking off some fish here so we're gonna get this one in the bucket, get back in bed, and see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, that was cold on the willy. Fine fish. Are you ready? Yep. 
nice fish. Oh, walleye. Good one. Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, guys, we got our first walleye of the morning here. Uh, we've been missing a lot of fish. Not quite sure why, but uh, finally got a nice eater there. Probably about a 16 inch fish. Uh, so we'll add that one to the bucket and uh, keep fishing. You want to measure it? Just under 16. Just under 16 inches there. So perfect keeper. We're going to get back to fishing, drinking coffee, and eat some breakfast. So stick with us. Go ahead and get him. If you feel him, set the hook. Is that you pulling? No, this feels really nice. Nice job. Yeah. Oh, I got my first walleye. I missed a couple, but this, this is a nice one. This right here. That'll be a nice eater. What do you think that's? Probably a 15, 15 and a half, I would guess. 15? We'll grab the bump board and get a measurement. Got it. Oh, 15. Move your hand. A little over 15. Perfect eater. You're too close. You got your <laughs> Don't want to lose him. All right. Nice job, Mama. All right, we got to get lines back in the water, so stay with us. Pull, pull, pull. Good job. Keep pulling. 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 You got him. <laughs> Well guys, it's day one. It's about noon now. The fishing has really slowed down. The fish did bite until about 10.30 this morning. Uh, I think right now we got seven or eight walleyes in the bucket. We'll clean them up here after a little bit. I think we're gonna make some fish tacos. But we got the table set up here. We're playing some games, watching a movie on the TV there, and just kind of chilling in between the morning and evening bite. So we're having a good time. Hope you guys are enjoying the content and stay tuned for more fishing coming up soon. Okay, you ready? Oh, that's big. Pull. Pull. Nice. Look at that walleye. Look what you got, Jennifer. That's my first big fish. That was a good job. Good job, sweetheart. Patrick. Here, talk to the camera. He's caught a big walleye on the rattle reel. Good job, sweetie. It's probably about 15 inches. All right, let's get in in the bucket. All right, guys, well, we're up in the Tamarack Lodge fish cleaning house. We're going to clean up our walleyes quick, and then we're going to head out and cook them up. So we'll get to filet in here, and uh, we'll make some fish tacos. Did I run some? Yep. Well, they got a scale. Isn't that cool? Okay. All right, let's get some All right guys, well, we got back from the fish cleaning house and uh, now we're gonna cook up some fish. I'm just cutting them up into smaller, more manageable pieces here. Uh, and we did leave skin on for transportation process, but uh, we're gonna eat all these fish up. So we're taking the skin off, getting them cut up. We got our oil going here on the stove, uh, but we're gonna fry some fish up and then we're gonna make some fish tacos as well. So. Uh, if you want to see that done, stay tuned. Gonna be delicious. All right, so we got our pieces here. I beat some eggs and I poured them over the top here. Now I'm just kind of mixing the fish around, getting them all coated in that egg wash. And then I'm going to drop them into 
our uh, Ziploc bag that has Louisiana fish fry in it. And we'll get them shaken and we'll get to cooking. Drop a few of these down. Seal her up. Twist it and shake it. Shake it, shake it up, baby. All right, so we got the first batch shook here. We'll lay them out on a plate. Then we're gonna do the same thing until we get all of our fillets coated, and then we will throw them in the oil. All right, guys, so we got our fillets battered up here. Now this seems like a ton, but we do have people coming over from other fish houses to eat with us. So uh, let's get these dropped in and get them going. All right. All right, so we'll let them cook a couple minutes on this side, flip them, pull them off. Hopefully they'll be golden, crispy, and we'll get to eating. So stay tuned. All right, they've been cooking for a couple minutes here. We're gonna give them a quick flip and uh, let them cook for another minute or two on this side, and then we'll pull them off. They're looking delicious. It smells phenomenal in here. Perfect. All right, we'll give them one more minute and pull them off. All right, so we let these cook another minute on this side. They're looking really nice. We're gonna pull them off here, put them on a plate with some paper towels, get the grease off of them. Ooh. I'm gonna try not to drool into the fish. That might be harder than uh, you think, but oh man, they look good. All right, well, I'm gonna put them to the side. I'm gonna let them cool off. I'm gonna get the next batch going and then we'll come back and we'll try these for you. Start off with the tortilla shell here. Throw a few pieces of fish down. Like so, maybe one more smaller piece. Go like that. All right. Daddy. Grab some slaw. This is just a shredded cabbage with a little bit of a, I don't even know what brand it is, but it's like a pre-made uh, slaw sauce. Put some of that on there. Got a little bit of, uh, what do we got here? Uh, triple cheddar cheese. Sprinkle a little of that on there. And then we got a chili sweet sauce. We'll uh, drizzle a little bit of that. All right. All right, guys, take a look at that. Looks delicious. All right. Well, I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up. And let's, uh, let's get a bite here. Mmm. The fish is super crispy first off, really good. You get that sweet flavor from the coleslaw and then this chili sauce gives it a nice little zing. That is really good. One more bite here. Hmm. Give you guys a look at that. Hmm. All right, guys, well, we're gonna eat our fish tacos here. 
Actually, I'm gonna try a piece of this fish all by itself first. And then uh, we'll finish eating our tacos. Mmm. Nice and crispy, white and flaky. Can't beat it, so. All right, guys, that's our fish tacos. We're gonna finish eating here, then we'll get back to fishing. So, hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned for more. Oh my goodness sakes.